Hello and welcome back to our series on how to make the most of Microsoft Word while creating your resume. I'm Michelle Dumas, an award-winning professional resume writer with more than a quarter century of experience. I'm also the creator of all of the premium Microsoft Word resume templates on the Distinctive Resume Templates site. So today in this third video, we're going to be diving into advanced text formatting. Now, while changing font styles, sizes, applying basic styles like bold or italic are second nature to most users, Word has several advanced features that can help give your resume that extra polish. Now, whether you're a job seeker crafting your resume yourself or a seasoned professional resume writer, the techniques I'm about to share with you will increase your productivity and ease. So let's get started with this. First, let's talk about character spacing, which can really subtly alter the look of your resume. This feature adjusts the space between letters, and it's particularly useful in section headers. So to adjust the character spacing, you simply select your text, and then right-click and choose Font. It will open to this Advanced tab, and you come down here to where it says character spacing and you can expand your text. The default is one point as you see here, or you can change it. You also have the option to condense the text and you get a preview down here of what it will look like. I'm going to expand the text by one point and click OK. And you can see that just expanded a bit. It changes the look just slightly. And now to balance it out, I think we'll expand the text here. Another option besides right clicking and choosing font, you can always choose this backward arrow down here on the menu on your home tab on the, in the font section. And it will open to the same window. And so we'll expand this as well to one point. And there we go. Now let's explore the text effects offered by Word. Now these effects include shadows and outlines, glow and reflection, and they can give an added flair to your headers and titles. So to apply these effects, you just highlight your text. So I'm going to highlight this job seeker's name. And then over here in the font section on your home tab, you will choose text effects and typography, which is this one. And you can scroll through. There's a lot of preset ones that you can scroll through and it will change it in real time so you can see what it would look like until you find one that you like, perhaps this one. Or you can always add in extra effects yourself or change the effect completely. Now remember, these effects should be used very sparingly and never for very large sections of text. So for example, if I were to choose this section of text, and come up here and start changing it, it makes it almost unreadable. It makes it hard to read. It's meant more for headers or just the name of the person or the headers of the, the resume. Of course, another critical aspect of an effective resume is its readability. And well-placed white space can significantly enhance that. Paragraph spacing in Word allows you to add very precise spacing after a line of text. So many times when somebody wants to add a space between text, they will simply hit the Enter key. But that leaves a very large section of text. You can be much more precise than that using this feature. So let's back that up. And the way that you add paragraph spacing is you select the text and you come up here to the paragraph section. And down here on the spacing, there's a before and an after. And this has two points of text in between it, but we could say expand it to six points, just like that. And it completely changes the look of the entire section. Let's Let's do that here as well. Now you do want to be careful that you are being consistent. So let's add a little bit more here. So we're going to be consistent. 
So that opens that whole section up and makes it a little bit easier to read. However, it pushed this whole section to the second page and created a third page of the resume, which we don't want, which is why we originally had this at point two. So I'm going to back up here and put it back at point two and then show you some other ways that you can use this. So you can use it sometimes to create a little bit of space between the job description and the job title or the job title and the company name. So in these cases, let's see what's there. There's approximately three points between this. So, so we're putting in a little bit of space there. And if we were to come down here and check this one, it would also be three points because we want to be consistent. Uh, and the same thing down here as well. Overall, this feature allows you to create a very well-organized and attractive document that includes white space that makes it much easier to read. Okay, so to show you this next feature, I have opened this resume side by side so that you can see the entire document at one time. And I want to talk to you about using borders and shading options. So a, one way to highlight specific paragraphs or words is by using borders and shading. Borders can frame paragraphs or single words, making them stand out. And this resume, on this resume, we've used both borders and shading to call out particular areas of text. So you can see these contribution summary sections where there's a light colored background around this text. So how you create these is very simple. Just choose the text that you want to add it to and come up here to the paragraph section on the home tab and pull down and choose borders and shading. Now when you come over here, you have a lot of different options. We're going to look at the borders around text options first. So we can put a, just a box or we could put a box with some shading uh, the, there's the option for some 3D boxes and some other options as well. We'll just select a plain box and I'm going to make this say two and a quarter points so that you can actually see it. And I'm going to choose a blue color for the box. And you're seeing a preview here of what it's going to look like. And now I'm going to click OK so you can see what that looks like. And as you can see, it has put a box around the actual text here. Now I'm going to remove that and show you another option. So again, select the, the text or select the line where the text is and come up here and choose borders and shading. And again, we're going to choose the color, the same color blue and a box. And this time we're going to choose paragraph, the paragraph option to have it the border go around the entire paragraph. And now I'm going to select OK. And now you see that there is a border around that entire section and it spans the page because it's going around the paragraph. And I'm going to click back again. And now I'm going to show you shading. So shading fills the background of your text with color. So to add some shading, what you do is you select the text. So I'm going to select the text and go to the home tab again and click that arrow here to pull down borders and shading and in this case you can see so we have added a a border around it around the entire paragraph in this very light colored greenish blue right here blue gray accent as it calls it uh, so there's a box around it and then we have also filled it in with shading and this is applied to the paragraph as well, the same color. So you just click OK and it's there. Now to just show you how I could change that, if I were to go back and redo this, let's choose a different color so that it's easier to see. Let's choose this color. So we're going to do a box and then shading and a box and click OK. It's really that simple. And let's get rid of that because the multiple colors don't look well here. 
So what's most important here is to pick the color that contrasts well with your text and make sure that the text is easily readable. You wouldn't want to use a very dark color. So for example, if we came here and we chose a very dark color instead, it would make that text very, very difficult to read, almost impossible. Of course, you do have the option to change the color of the font and make it readable. But if you were to do that, make sure that you do it consistently throughout the resume. And often, the black text with a light background is much easier to read anyways. Now, you don't want to overuse this. Use these boxes, use the shading, use the borders to call attention to key parts of your resume. OK, so now, before we end, it's important for me to mention Applicant Tracking Systems, or ATS. Now, these are the software tools that are used by employers to sort and analyze resumes. Most modern ATS are compatible with features like these borders and shading that I'm just showing you. So you do not need to worry about ATS friendliness when using these. This, this resume would be fully ATS compatible. However, as I already said, you want to use these tools very judiciously anyhow to avoid a cluttered look. Use them for highlights. That wraps up today's video on advanced text formatting in Microsoft Word. Now remember, the goal of using these features is always to enhance the clarity and professionalism of your resume. And for a deeper dive into each of these techniques, don't forget to check out my detailed blog post linked in the description below. Again, I'm Michelle Dumas, and I'll see you in the next video. If you found this helpful, please like and share and subscribe for more resume writing and resume design tips. And until then, happy job hunting, and thank you so much for watching.